The NGM-140 Army Tactical Missile System or the ATACMS is in limelight since the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Since the conflict began there have been talks about the system and growing interest regarding the ATACMS including the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. Manufactured by Lockheed Martin, ATACMS is a tactical ballistic missile with capability of striking targets at a range of 300 kilometers or 190 miles. The 13 feet long missile has a solid propellant. The tactical missile has a WDU-18, 500 pounds class blast fragmentation warhead. Due to its long range the guided missile gives its operators the luxury of striking deep within enemy territory with high precision. ATACM being a short-range ballistic missile, it becomes difficult for the air defense systems to engage them since the missile can reach very high speeds during their terminal phase of flight. Due to its higher speed in the terminal phase the missile is able to penetrate deep into hardened targets. The missile is stacked on a highly mobile platform and it is stored in the launcher with same six circle pattern just like the standard MLRS lid. The container hosts only one missile but similarity of the lid makes it difficult for the enemy intelligence officers to distinguish between the standard rockets and the tactical missile. The mobility vehicle can be any one of the two types. M270 multiple launch rocket system is a tracked version while M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System is the wheeled version. The vehicles can carry up to two missiles at a time or a single missile alongside 227mm artillery rockets. There are different variants of the missile. Block 1 is the MGM-140A with 950 small submunitions with a range of 102 miles or 165 kilometers. It entered service in 1991 with U.S. Army. MGM-140B was Block 1A version with range of 186 miles or 300 kilometers. A new GPS-assisted inertial navigation system was introduced in this version. The Block II variant came with 13 small precision-guided Brilliant Anti-Tank, or BAT glide bombs along with submunition warhead. This version was named MGM-140C. The next variant came with improved BAT submunition called the Block IIa. A TACMS Block IA also known as the MGM-168A came in early 2000s and has a 500 pounds high explosive warhead with a maximum range of 300 kilometers or 186 miles. The HIMARS launcher can be easily transported using the Hercules C-130 cargo aircraft. Currently the system is being operated by the United States, UAE, Greece, Qatar, Turkey, Poland, Romania, South Korea, Bahrain. Recently for the first time AATA CMS was fired in Australia. Australia is going to operate these systems in the future, and since it already operates C-130, it will be a step up in their military strength. Recently the ATA CMS have been in limelight due to the request from Ukrainian officials and its supporters. US has already supplied Ukraine with MRs and MLRS launchers. But the tactical ballistic missile is not included in the package, and so far only 227mm artillery rockets have been supplied. If Ukraine receives these missile systems it would be helpful in targeting hardened command posts and supply depots.
Although the range of the missile is around 300 kilometers, it might not be sufficient when it comes to fielding it against Chinese targets in the Pacific and somewhere else. The limited range of missile would mean that the U.S. would find it difficult to deploy these systems within the reach of Chinese targets. The ever-growing threat of China is asking for a missile with a longer range. The United States Army will replace ATACMS with the new precision strike missile with range of 500 kilometers or 403 miles. Derivative of these missiles with range of 1,000 kilometers is also planned to be inducted. The advanced missile systems will be able to attack moving naval targets as well. Precision Strike Missile will be designed to be launched from same platform as the ATACMS. Hence the newly developed weapons can be used by existing customers of ATACMS as well as future operators like Australia. For the US and the Allies it will provide long-range strike capabilities in the Pacific region. The US Marines and Army will be using these missiles, alongside variants of Tomahawk cruise missiles, naval strike missile and upcoming hypersonic weapons for ground-based long-range strike capability.